Intel finally stopped teasing us and gave us everything we need to know about Intel Aerolake at their recent presentation, which I assume I was invited to, but my invite probably just got lost in the mail or something. Right, Intel? Anyway, they revealed pretty much everything we need to know about these brand new CPUs, and they are going to be fast. Given how the performance calls, see up to 9% IPC improvements, while the efficiency calls an up to 32% IPC uplift. That, in addition to the expected improvements in the overall architecture and increases in the clock speeds, mean that these things are going to be pretty fast. However, that isn't where it stops, because the main message that Intel was sending across is efficiency. Yes, I know that efficiency and measuring every single watt isn't as exciting or sexy as just pure performance numbers and higher speeds and more FPS in your favorite games, but what they are doing here is kind of impressive given how much less power the brand new flagship 285k uses up compared to the last gen 4900k. But I know you dear viewer and I know that it's just going to be an excuse for you to overclock this thing even more. But one major thing missing is the support for hyperthreading, which has been a staple of Intel CPUs for probably as long as I've been alive. So we have to wait and see how that is going to affect performance. Of course, MPUs are coming, or Neuro Processing Units, basically an additional chip on the die responsible for AI acceleration, because the year is 2024 indeed. These will be by default included in every single SKU, whether you like it or not. So you better get used to seeing those, though there's still plenty of actually pretty cool use cases where that can be useful. Give me a couple of hours and I could even think of some. And of course, apart from the NPU, you're also going to have the integrated GPU as well, which takes most of the great features of Alchemist and stuffs them onto your brand new Core Ultra CPU, including dedicated ray tracing cores. Just for pure curiosity's sake, I'm really interested to see how ray tracing performs on integrated graphics. But anyway, apart from that, you are of course going to need a brand new motherboard as well, based on the LGA80 socket, with many vendors already announcing their upcoming Z890 motherboards. And of course, we'll be covering as many of them as possible on this very channel, so if you're unsure which one to buy, make sure to subscribe because we'll be going through all of them. And I mean all of them, so brace yourselves. Then there's of course the prices. And they're not honestly as bad as I thought. They'll be ranging all the way from $294 for the most budget Core Ultra 5 245KF, all the way to the flagship 285K for $589. Though keep in mind that there will be no KF, that is a SKU lacking integrated graphics, for the top tier 9 CPU, which is a bit weird, especially given how that's been usually a great way to save a penny by just going with a CPU without graphics that you won't be using anyway, but it's just not an option for some reason. Though given how small the differences between GPU and GPU-less SKUs are here, odds are it probably still wouldn't have saved you too much anyway, but that's still an extra $20 in the pocket or so, that's enough for... I don't know, what can you even do with $20 in this economy? Whether you are excited, bouncing up and down in your seat, or kind of skeptical about all of this, well, you still have some time to wait until they finally launch on the 24th of October. So make sure to pester your local Intel representative until then, so we can actually get these CPUs to check out. And let me know down in the comments below, would you buy into this brand generation of Intel chips? Which ones are you buying, or are you waiting for them to go on sale? Let me know all of that down in the comments below. and. Maybe check out a patron as well, because that way maybe we'll be actually able to bribe Intel into sending us these chips. Plus huge thanks to Gavin Burns, Justin Rage, Ella Vroniak, Bartosz Roker, Patrick Harrison, not a pseudonym, Max Sumner, Shin Allcroft, Level Up, and Robert Sanders. But anyway, that's about it, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and i see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye. <laughs>